the Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Okay. Eros's palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the goddess of beauty herself. Okay, so that's the way that we gotta go. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. <laughs> as long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. Wow. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking. <laughs> Didn't happen to be Aphrodite? Why, yes, I am. Pleasure to humbly make your acquaintance. Phoenix, I'm sorry, I'm just such a fan. You're responsible for some of the most epic love stories of all time. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting a tree, but even in your uh arboreal state, you're beautiful. Oh, that's sweet of you to say, but the only mirror I gaze into these days reflects the happy smiles of the creatures I help. Oh, if only I could travel to those most in need. But, alas, my roots keep me anchored here. So that's why Typhon did this to you. So you can't use your beauty to move ships or inspire bravery in battle against him. Me? Start a war? I don't know where you get such outlandish ideas. True beauty is found in acts of service. True love is the giving of yourself to others. The name Aphrodite should have stood for those things all along. She did not just say that. I am <laughs> reformed now. My old essence locked away in a vault wedged under my largest root, <laughs> which is for the best. Maybe I could get that essence back for you. I'm going to need allies to go up against Typhon. We have the hungry to think about. You said you need to free yourself from your roots. To feed the hungry, of course. Well, my roots were as a pretty bad farmer. So I know how to hurt plants. Salt. It shrivels them up. Oh, would that work? But of course, my roots are not ordinary. They're primal. Powerful. So we'll need, a uh, mythical salt water? Oh! Oh! This is in the prophecy! A pearl in rough seas! You were a pearl born from rough seas! The salty sea foam from your birth! Yes! What an inspired proposal! But I couldn't possibly trouble a stranger to recreate the conditions of my birth. What if a stranger asked to be troubled? Hmm. If a stranger asked to be troubled, then... I suppose I wouldn't really be troubling them at all. <laughs> Here's how to conjure seafoam from my birthplace. I already know all about this. Mom loved this story. Grandpappy Uranus threw a pearl into the sea. The sea churned into foam, and Aphrodite rose up out of it. A pearl? Grandpappy? I'm not sure that's how it- That's definitely the story. Okay. I'm sure that's how it went, uh, down. Got it. <laughs> Knock a pearl into the ocean really hard. That sounds simple enough. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I'll be serving fresh apples to the less fortunate across the Golden Isle in no time. Well, this is weirder than the time Demeter turned that kid into a lizard. Aphrodite? Sweet and charitable? No more mischief? Isn't that what you were aiming for when you married her off to Hephaestus against her will? Hey now, it wasn't. I mean, she knew I was doing it for her own good. Hmm. 
From the sea foam, Aphrodite rose, full grown, beautiful as that same pearl. I can't take this anymore. Zeus, Gaia lied to you about how Aphrodite was born. Oh, yeah? Then tell me how it really happened. And Kronos, they fought. You can't be serious. Fell into the sea. That's... Because Kronos cut off his... <laughs> You're sick, Prometheus! <laughs> Do not talk to me! With the uh. sea foam secure, ah. Phoenix resolved to return to Aphrodite with the key to her freedom and the vault. You've returned, you sweet creature! <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right sure here. I do. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Hmm, Aphrodite's apple. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many godly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> What's going on? Whoa. Imagine why, whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids, and that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, doesn't the look sea like foam it. Worked and, uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' leg. I can't help but the other three raids, though Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say bad things come in fours. No one says that. No one yeah, says no that. One. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> what about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to... No. no. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters is I can start delivering apples. All the animals will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... What? That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work. If you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right. Okay. We have a plan, then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. Deep within the vault, ah, tear. Phoenix found one of the tears Aphrodite shed over Adonis. I really don't think Adonis was worth all this crying. <laughs> it was just a pretty face. 
Tear. Felix found the tear that marked the tragic final moments of Adonis. The love Aphrodite felt for him would never die. All right, all right. She was sad. I get it. And that's the no third tear. No tear so heavily as a tear of love. And so no tear had ever been as heavy as this. The tear from the broken heart of the goddess of love. Ugh, bah! Like Aphrodite is the first person to ever go through a breakup. Zeus, it wasn't a breakup. She <laughs> died. Hoping to shrivel the root to unblock the vault, Phoenix sprinkled the tears. No! No! <laughs> Adonis, my love! Why does my mind dwell on you? What? What's happening to me? <laughs> Oops! I'd better go find Aphrodite. Aphrodite Did really happen? loved Adonis. And I married her off to Hephaestus. Yes. Adonis meant the world to her. I let that boar kill him. You did what? I mean, I didn't kill him, but I didn't try to save him either. I didn't listen to Aphrodite. Okay, and that's the tree. Aphrodite, please, just tell me what's wrong. Well, I appreciate that you were trying to help me. There was really no need to trouble yourself. I just thought if we could move the route, I could get you. I can move the route anytime I want. Okay, she's being kind. Ricky? Why is she being mad? Well, since you watered my roots with the sea foam, that is. So, thank you, but there is no need to concern yourself with my essence. Wait, I've been putting up with all this, the tears, the horrific niceness, for no reason? You're undead to me. Hermes, all my pettiest jealousies and all my most self-absorbed beliefs are knocked away. Why would I ever want to be reunited with them? Sure, you weren't the most charitable person, but that's not everything. Remember all the fun we had gossiping about the other gods? Making fun of the ugly Sasha's hair I wears to parties? That mustard sash made her look like a shriveled carrot! <laughs> no! No! It was all time wasted! I could... I should have been more... I never measured up. What in Hades are you talking about, never measured up? By whose standard? What's she talking about? I can't imagine. It's no use. She won't hear reason. Try insulting some other gods. No, it would only be fun for me. Acts of charity are all good and necessary, but not from Aphrodite. Her spice made the world interesting. She added a zing to things, you know? She literally changed the world. I mean, she started the Trojan War, and also she could be named the most beautiful. That's it. I don't know if we have time to start the war, Hermes. <laughs> no, you know, no. Beautiful thing. We'll bring her the prize her vanity won her. Something she wanted so much, she let the world go to war for it. If she sees it, maybe she'll want her old zing back. The apple of discord. The apple of discord. Apple of discord, exactly? I'll find it as soon as I can. Good. She's boring right now. I can't make one remark about what Persephone is doing with her hair before she starts prattling on about the needy. I miss the old Aphrodite. Aphrodite, I have something for you. I've had enough of your gifts. What I mean to say is, I'm only here to give, not to receive. But She's it's another apple for so your collection. Hard. Trying so to be nice. Beautiful. I want it. If you want it, you wanna. Did have... you know oh. the Trojan War could have been avoided if Eris had been invited to Peleus and Thetis's wedding? What? I thought it had something to do with Troy and Greece. 
The shade Eris was throwing, how did I not put two and two together? The best parties are the ones that the goddess of discord shows up to uninvited. Everyone knows that. Can't fight! To think Hera pulled Athena's hair over an apple. Her own daughter. Ah, right! The beauty contest! What moron appointed that blowhard Paris the judge? I'm looking at him. To be fair, I'd had a lot to drink. It wasn't Paris's fault. Hera offered to make him king of Asia and give him great riches. Athena offered great glory and renown in war. But show me a god or mortal who could resist Aphrodite's bribe of true love. Yeah, sure. It was Helen of Sparta's love Paris was after. So he did exactly what you asked and chose the most beautiful woman. Then, you know, started the Trojan War. I wanted to win that apple so badly. I wanted to win that apple so badly, I started a war for it! To show Zeus! Everything that came after was my fault. You were acting according to your nature, Aphrodite. Which is exactly why I'm better off without my essence. My nature caused only pain. That's where you're wrong, Aphrodite. You can't have one side of the coin without the other. Your passion, your unpredictability, and I'll say it. Your jealousy, your vanity, yes, they caused pain. But you know what else they did? <laughs> what? They created some of the greatest adventures, the greatest epics, the greatest stories the world will ever see. I'm a storyteller, I know. Sure, we would all be safer if we just stayed at home, but everything's more beautiful in color. The passion is worth the pain. Oh, in that boat are my unfiltered jealousies and darkest natures. If I let you in, everyone will judge me. I've been judged before. Aphrodite, you rein it in. Aphrodite, you're too much work. Aphrodite, you're too much trouble. Aphrodite, you're too much. Whoever said that owes you an apology. What a jerk. I never meant it like that. Didn't you? You don't have to compete for my or anyone's love. You are enough. Anyway, if you're that beautiful and have a perfect personality too, well, honestly, it's just annoying at that point. <laughs> All right. I'll move my room. Please, take this blessing before you go in there. You can find me at the Hall of the Gods. Get off me! All of you! It's enough already! Why don't you just go get a job? I had no idea Hermes and Aphrodite were so close. They even had a child together. No way. Boy or girl? No. Ah, I see. The child was non-binary. Look at you. Prometheus, I have an Anfora collection. I'm with it. As if I could ever love a man like Hephaestus. I think that face alone could seek a thousand ships. Oh, and down below. Oh, let's just say there's no I didn't mean to put so much pressure on Aphrodite. Sometimes we think we're showing love for someone, when really we're fulfilling our own needs through them. So you're saying I actually need someone to protect me? Not exactly, but... It's so true. I've always had to stay strong for everyone. No one ever takes care of me. Prometheus, it's so hard. I'd hug you, but I'm chained to a rock.
hurricane. A faint hint of perfume wafted past. That's perfume. Enough. It's like embarrassment. I told you I'd get your essence back. I didn't doubt that. But do you see me differently now that you've heard all my worst thoughts? Not at all. I'm excited to meet the real you. Because honestly, Hermes' hair is a bit much right now. Wait, what? Okay. Then I'm ready. and love forever be boundless. Rise, golden goddess Aphrodite. Speechless? I know. Can you believe you actually had to convince me to return to this body? Oh, without you, I would have lost the ability to love myself forever. Actually, I stole that years ago. Clearly. Looks like you've been loving yourself far too much. Oh, you might want to disinfect that toga. Oh, glad you're back. Please, Phoenix. Take my final blessing as thanks. Ready to defeat Typhon? I'm more than ready to take down the ugly beast that stole my beauty. But there is one other thing I could use your help with. What can I do? There are four mythical beasts Typhon brought out of Tartarus to terrorize the creatures of the Golden Isle. If you could end their reign by defeating them in battle, I would be extremely grateful. Uh, normally, I wouldn't care, but I guess I'm going so. I'll take care of it. Of course you will. <laughs> 